guys, Kara Jane with Ice Cream for Buttercream and today's cake that I have for you is an apple coconut cake. And this cake is one of my favorites, although I might say that about every cake because I love cake. But really this cake is very, very moist and I think you're really going to love it. I think the secret ingredient for the moisture in the cake is the coconut milk. And I just buy coconut milk in a can and just make sure you shake it up very, very well or you stir it very well before you add it to your cake batter. And then the next thing is that I did add a cup of shredded unsweetened coconut. And you can omit that if you really don't like the texture of shredded coconut, that's okay. Uh, your cake is still gonna be great and you're still gonna love it. You just won't have that extra coconut kick in it, but that's okay, everybody has their own preferences. So the next thing is that we are gonna use apples, but we're not going to have to shred the apples. We're just going to have to chop them up. So make sure you peel them first, make sure you chop them, and chop them in small pieces. You don't want large pieces because the apples are gonna sink to the bottom of your cake. So just make sure whenever you're cutting your apples just to chop them in smaller pieces. And then I'm also gonna go over how to do the cinnamon cream cheese glaze over the top of the cake. Okay, so let's get started on the recipe. Okay, we're adding two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then you're just going to whisk this up really well and set it aside. In another bowl, we're going to add three whole eggs, two teaspoons of vanilla, and then we're going to use coconut milk. And I just like to shake the can up really well and then just stir it up a little bit. And you just want to whisk this up really well. So I've got a cup of butter, which is two sticks of butter. And I'm just creaming the butter. And then you're gonna add in two cups of sugar. And you wanna whisk this up really, really well. Scrape down the sides of the bowl, whisk it up again, and just make sure that you are incorporating a lot of air. So whisk it for a couple of minutes till it's light and fluffy. And we're gonna add a third of the flour mixture. And you just wanna mix it till it's just combined. Then you're gonna add in half of your egg mixture. Mix it up a little bit, and you'll probably need to scrape down the sides of the bowl and mix it up again, just until combined. Now you're going to add in another third of the flour mixture. Mixing only until combined. And mix in the last half of the egg mixture. Remember not to over mix it, just mix it till combined. And then the last third of the flour mixture and then mix it until everything is combined. Just make sure not to over mix your batter. And now you're going to add in one cup of unsweetened shredded coconut and two cups of chopped apples. And I just chopped these really small so they didn't sink to the bottom of my cake batter. And now you're just going to mix it in by hand, just sort of fold it throughout the batter. And pour it into a greased and floured bun pan. And just try to get your cake batter in the bump pan evenly. I just sort of spread mine around a little bit. And you're going to bake this at 325 for about an hour. Now for the buttercream, you're just going to mix one stick of butter, which is a half a cup of butter. You're going to add in one block of cream cheese. I think that's eight ounces of cream cheese. Just make sure it's mixed really well. 
We're going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and mix really well. And then we're going to add in three cups of powdered sugar and a couple of tablespoons of milk or cream and mix that. And you're going to need to add a little bit more milk or cream. I just like to mix mine first so I can check the consistency before adding more cream, but you want it a, a sort of drizzled consistency. Okay, and I just used a pastry bag or a piping bag to put on my glaze. And I went over the whole cake twice because I like a lot of icing on my cake. Hey, I hope you really enjoy this one. It's such a light and fluffy cake with a really, really moist texture to it. And if you enjoyed this recipe, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. And you can check out more cake fun at icecreamforbuttercream.com. Okay, see you next time.